kura sisi bado ni ndugu baada ya kura sisi bado ni jamaa baada ya kura sisi uh, ni familia moja sisi sote ni wakenya kwa hivyo kila mtu ana spesi yake kwa hivyo ningependa ku, kuhimiza amani 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 ningependa kumuomba waziri Matiangi kwamba sisi sote tunataka ku participate fully katika election kwa sababu hapa ndio watu wanataka kuamua kuzua vurugu hata askari wenyewe kuzua vurugu ni ku instill fear mtu aogope asiende kupiga kura mtu aogope asijitokeze kimasomaso mtu aogope kama mtu anaishi na ulemavu aogope kwenda kupiga kura akidhania kuna vurugu hii mambo haya ni lazima yakomeshwe ili soto, sote kama wa Kenya tu participate fully uh, kuna masuala ya gender based violence tungependa tusione violence za aina yoyote uh, mimi nimepata international award ya peace and security na mimi mwenyewe naishi na ulemavu kwa hivyo kitu cha kwanza ambacho nakihimiza ni kwamba kusiwe na vurugu kusiwe na vita ili pia sisi tunaoishi na ulemavu tuweze ku participate fully kama vile mkenya mwingine yoyote as for leaders and residents in Mbere South have welcomed the elevation of the region to a sub-county status. They say the move will facilitate service delivery by bringing the very services closer to the people. Mbere South sub-county Deputy Com County Commissioner George Omolo underscored the importance of such development, saying residents have been traveling long distances to access government services. Mbere South imegawanywa rasmi na kuna gazeti notice kile kinabakia ni serikali itakuja kupangia labda kutuma wale watakuwa wahudumu wa kiserikali wa pande hiyo na tuwe tumeletewa huduma ya kiserikali karibu it was absolutely crucial to make services acceptable to people because traveling especially for leaders from one corner to another and also for government services to be accept, accessible was, was proving extremely difficult. So, first of all, I want to thank the President, uh, His Excellency Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta, for very kindly listening to the request uh, to give this uh, sub-county another, another, another sub-county. And a section of leaders in Busia County have called on the Kenyan government to address the constant harassment of Kenya fishermen by Ugandan army in Lake Victoria, led by Budalangi Member of Parliament Raphael Wanjala. They faulted the Kenyan Coast Guard for failing to protect Kenyan fishermen from the wrath of their Ugandan counterparts. <laughs> Zikina ziko Kenya, lakini wale sisi tuko Kenya, sisi ni wa Kenya. So tunataka tu tuwe protected kama wa ke? Wa Kenya. Tusiwe tunyanyaswa hivyo. So nivibaya sana hizi mambo tunasikia. We unachukua ami, uneka kwa bahari, na hawa watu si, they have not declared war in Uganda. Hawa wanafuatanga hizi samaki zimelala hapa Kenya, wanafuata mbio zikiingia huko. So that body that is in Jinja, Itekeleze, those agreements ambazo zilikuwa on how we can promote harmony within the Great Lakes region. Wikijaye tokona mkutano ya fishermen wote pale town ya Busia. Tujadiliare kwa kina plus the administrators and security how best we can address challenges uh, easy arrest za kila wakati. The county government or of Kajedo has launched a major tree planting exercise on a five acre piece of land with Ngong Town that within Ngong Town that will be used as landfill to more than 20 years. The exercise is culmination of a protracted court battles against zo dozens of individuals who had encroached part of the five acre parcel of land. Yes, Lord. Ambaye kwa miaka naenda miaka rudi imekuwa ni kero kubwa sana ime haribu afya ya wananchi imeharibu masingira yetu
nimekuwa ni shida watoto wa shule hizi mbili jirani hapa kusoma Aa, tumekuja kuanza safari ya kutengeneza a public recreational park hapa na tumeanza kwanza kwa kupanda miti upanzi ya miti kwa perimeter uh, area ya uh, uwanja huu tunaleta takataka hapa kwa dam site kumekuwa na challenges kwa sababu hii takataka imekuwa ikiadhiri watoto wetu wa kiume na kifua juu ya hiyo harufu mingi mbaya na sasa venye imekuwa kutengenezwa park tumefurahia venye governor ameleta upandaji wa park ukakuwa nzuri hapa Thank you for staying with the news bit on Y254 TV. We appreciate your viewership time to uh, delve into matters business. Let's get you updated, shall we? The government should step up public engagements in every stage of the budget marking, making process. According to the Institute of Public Finance Chief Executive Officer James Moragori, Kenya's place in the recent open budget survey rose three points to position 53 out of 120 countries and more needs to be done to improve Kenya's ranking in budgets, transparency, public participation and budget oversight. This indicates that we spare, you know, we did not provide, as a country, we did not provide adequate information uh, to support informed public uh, debate. And in the region, we see the water significantly improved uh, transparency scores from 22 to 45 in 2021. There are no spaces uh, sometimes sometimes even legally for public participation is that these spaces are not actualized is that these spaces are not open to the widest public uh, in other words they may be there but they are closed they are only known uh, by a very few in kenya for instance uh, this happens only at the national level this happens uh, in a place where um, you know uh, open budgets uh, is still not only a winning proposition, but the way to go. And what, what is clear is that even during the pandemic, the countries where people are able to engage and have more meaningful conversations around their budgets are those that... Kenya capsicum chili exports to Europe are expected to increase significantly this year after the EU certified Kenya's pest control efforts. The Kenyan plant health inspectorate services says Kenya had contained the first coding mouth pest and expects the EU to allow more consignments of capsicum and chili into the markets. In that part of the country, the world. So it, the good news is that at least we are not so much on, on, on the rates that we were. We are praying that we will see zero so that these uh, quarantine challenges are faced out of us and then we are removed out of the Rala where we have been seen as an uncompliant country. There will be more stringent inspection for new consignment. So, uh, so I'm seeing a reduced inspection. Uh, I'm seeing a reduced inspection uh, following the good report from the EU. Our visit to EU, we demonstrated that the systems we have put in place have been able to reduce the number of uh, FCM in capsicums from 16 to 4 and for that reason the EU was able to conclude the audit query which they had. Because it's just a simple consignment somebody could ask you for between 100 and 500 dollars extra because of the agents and because also agents must get their they must get their money and the agency fee. Where An electronic manufacturer is urging content creators to embrace upskilling and certification to sharpen their skills and appeal to global digital content needs. Canon Marketing Director Armin Jojura says as the world shifts from DSLR to mirrorless cameras matching the right IT equipment with users' needs is essential for optimum results. Whether you are producing a very specific high-end product like food 
or interior design or studio as well as if you are just an amateur who is producing a daily life routine or just something to be used in social media. It's because the market demands that and everybody is getting better so because the competition there is higher so that it makes it makes them behave in that way. It is now possible for one to access a critical of illness insurance cover that allows one to seek treatment at a facility of their choice locally or internationally. Faulu Bank Managing Director Paul Njoraga says the new cover will target, among others, finance treatment for cancer, open heart surgery, multiple sclerosis, motor neuro stroke, paraplegia and dementia. course or a longer length bank of the year And now away from Kenya, Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari has called on Africa's leaders to invest in energy generation to drive the continent's development agenda. Buhari was speaking during the opening of a three-day Nigeria-Africa Natural Resources and Energy Investments Summit. As we met a Chief Operating Officer Shell Stanberg, whose close partnership with Chief Executive Officer Mark Zuckerberg powered the growth of the world's biggest social network, is leaving the company after 14 years. Chief Growth Officer Javier Olivan takes over as Chief Operating Officer. Finally, in a sports, Nelly Messi and Angel Dumaria shown Argentina defeat Italy 3-0 at Wembley in the uh, finalism renewal of the contest between the champions of Europe and South America. Meanwhile, Ukraine roused the performance of spirited endeavor and courage to stand Scotland 3-1 and earn an historic World Cup play or final against Wales. And that sports story marks the end of our broadcast tonight. Many things for staying with the news, but let's do this again next week, Thursday. Until then, enjoy the rest of our programming. My name is Dereva Hilary. Goodbye and good night.